Like there were so much going on today. Uh, <laughs> take us through hearing that Mike had taken the job of Sacramento. Uh, then obviously the tragedy, uh, uh, Adrian Payne. Uh, then knowing that Steve was out. What were you guys kind of ricocheting all over with emotion? Was that what was it? What was the feelings like going into this game? Yeah, it was an emotional day. Um, prayers up to Adrian, his family, and Draymond. Uh, I know they played together. It's just a terrible loss of life, and he'll, he'll, his legacy will live on. But it's just a sad day. Uh, really happy for Mike B, though. I mean, he uh, is going to do great things for Sacramento, and I mean, his head coaching record for Warrior playoffs game, I think, is undefeated. So uh, we did miss Steve a lot, just his voice, his presence. But we've been here before. I mean, 2017 when Mike took over and we rolled off a lot of wins. So I reflected on that a lot. And um, just a up and down day as far as emotions were go going. What do you uh, make of stuff in the fourth quarter tonight? Just stuff being stuff? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, me, him, and JP, uh, the shots weren't falling like we wanted them to. But that's just Steph. He has that mindset where he is the best shooter of all time. And it just takes one one good look at the rim or the free throw line. And when that happens, the floodgates open. And we stuck with it tonight as a whole. And I'm very proud of the way everyone competed. And th at, during this time of the year, some days are going to be ugly as far as offensively, but we really got gritty on the defensive end and willed it out. Play for most of the night, you and Steph had a tough time getting your shot, but it, in the fourth quarter, it kind of changed. Did you have a feeling that because you guys were able to stay close that your experience and your know-how would maybe make a difference? Yeah, definitely. Um, I had a feeling we were going to win the game when Bain hit that tough shot at the end of third. Just we willed it to four, and I just knew uh, – we could, we were going to win the game. I just, just had a feeling and it was ugly. But uh, at this time of year, all that matters is that win. And I'm so proud of everyone in this organization for how we fought tonight. And even though they're missing their best player, they still had a great, great record without him. And they play very good defense and um, just a gutsy performance all around tonight. How, how comfortable are you feeling with Steph's walking to the line several times in the final minute? I mean, I think I speak for everyone in that arena that we're feeling, you know, very comfortable. He's a, a multiple free throw champ, and I think he's probably over 90% for playoff career. So um, that's the one guy. I mean, we got a few guys, but you do not want to send him to the line. Mike credited Andre and Draymond specifically for, as you know leaders or whatever you know help to help him get through this. Did you notice them? Did they were they saying more? Was there real leadership? Uh, I think so. They always have conversations on the side, just talking hoops, talking defense. And Andre has been such a great presence for us this year, not only for the young guys but us, the co coaching staff. And Draymond's one of the most intelligent minds on the basketball court, so. I know they were probably bouncing ideas off each other, and it worked out. Hey, Clay, uh, where were you when you found out Steve would be out tonight? What was your reaction, and did he deliver a message to the team, like over the phone? or? Uh, I was just in the facility, and um, I think it was that shoot-around this morning. And before we missed Steve. He's our leader, but Mike B, we're lucky we have a coach like Mike and Kenny who, I mean, Mike B has so much playoff experience, and... So, I mean, Kenny does as well. So give our whole coaching staff credit. They really did a great job tonight. Hey, Clay, when you have a game where your shots aren't falling, what do you draw from to be able to just provide an impact on the game and still stay resilient? Yeah, obviously playing hard defense, getting on the glass, and making them when they count. So, um, no, no one likes shooting six for 20, but we won the game and – I know myself, and I'm bound to bounce back. Clay, you guys obviously um, got the you know tough Grizzlies team without John Moran. What did you see in those last few minutes? Did you think that they kind of missed John a little bit? And now going back to Memphis where they gave you two tough games, what are you expecting just out of them going into Wednesday? Of course they missed him. Like, but uh, you know, the guy averages like 30 a night. 
gets a lot of tough buckets. They definitely miss him. And I just think Wednesday is going to be the hardest one yet. It always is the closeout. And we're going to have to put this one behind us and think of a good game plan. What what did you think of the crowd's regular reaction to Dylan Brooks? And and do you feel at all that, that maybe that booing kind of coaxed him into some tough shots? Uh, you know, he obviously had a, a pretty bad night from the floor. Possibly, but, I mean, our fans are passionate and they will let you hear it if you have wronged them. So, I guess, good job, Dub Nation. It is. Nice. Great stuff. Oh, man.